and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147, and I thought I'd show you my new craft bookcase. Uh, so this is in the corner of our bedroom, uh, but basically this is a Billy bookcase from Ikea, but it is the deeper one, the 40 centimetre deep. Uh, which you can only get in the large bookcases. And then I have the doors on the bottom. But this is where I have moved most of my diamond painting craft goodies to. So I do have some paintings on the top. That's actually my most recent uh, Dreamer Designs. I think there's some Aura Lower. And then there is some from Australia behind. I also have a load on my bookcase, uh, sorry, not on my bookcase, on the top of my wardrobe. But I have a section of open shelving which I have tried to make as pretty as possible uh, and then hidden everything else in the cupboard. So you can see that in a moment. But at the top, you'll have to excuse the lighting, uh, it's actually deciding to be sunny today considering it's winter, uh, but it's shining funny on the bookcase. But I have my paint gem books um, of all my completed paint gem at the front and behind it I actually have my spare empty binders and my spare cardstock. I then have my Heaven and Earth Design spares box and my specials spares box and then this gap next to it is actually where my four heaven and earth design cases go my 60 bottle cases uh, but if you follow my channel you'll know that i am currently working on that a section a day so that has moved into what is now the shop room uh, so that i can work on that each day on my big desk i then have six photo boxes these hold all of my spares the top row is the squares and the first two here are the round and the last one are my extras to give away i then have two pen holders love these so these hold all my diamond painting pens most of these ones are from the shop. I've got a few trashies in there as well. And then I have some of the pens that I have been gifted and there is more in the tops as well. The tops do lift up. So I have all my diamond painting pens looking pretty. And then I have, these used to be on the Calax in my craft room, but these are actually plant pots from Ikea. But they look, they look pretty. So we have adhesives. I have uh, diamond painting, uh, sorry, diamonds for my special diamond paintings. Washi tape. And then I have two that I have just filled with other bits. I need to create labels for them. Uh, but this one has some whiteboard pens, some pencil cases with paintbrushes in, um, ink pad, things like that. This one has the likes of the Dymo label maker, my little photo maker. Uh, it even has some of my straighteners in there. Just collect stuff. So I do need to create some labels for those. And then I have the other area and you will see why this has a door on it. This is nowhere near as pretty. So this is the bottom half. There are elements of it that are pretty, uh, but it's definitely a little bit more squooshed in. Uh, this first shelf is all my storage. So anything that, apart from this one that's in use, that actually could do with going into the conservatory so that I can get more of it done. But this is all my storage. So I have some at the front. I have some tucked behind. I have my Elizabeth Ward storage, dot boxes. As you can see, they're pretty much stacked any way that I can get them all to fit. So that's my first shelf. My second shelf has 
my drawers that hold all my diamonds for my smaller paintings or any paintings that are rolled up. So I have one for rounds and I have one for squares. That's also got all my paint gem stuff in there as well. So I just took these drawers straight out of the Calax and popped them in here. I may decide to put them into something else at some point, but for now that works. I then have a very pretty row of trays. So these are all our trays. Um, so most of these are past ones. These are current ones. Uh, behind there, I have tucked some bags. So they're grip seal bags. I think there's also a little pot with the extra little pots that fit in the 60 bottle storage. I have some extras. They're tucked behind there. Um, and then I have another plant pot with the likes of my 310. Uh, storage bag, if I can get hold of it actually. So my 310 storage bag just has 310 diamonds in there. It also has my dryer sheets, my spare bags for putting diamonds in, a few other bits that seem to have fallen in there. And then I have my disaster shelf. <laughs> This is sort of where everything else gets thrown. So I do have some display books. So these are actually the A3 display books that hold my diamond paintings. And then these are the heaven and earth design canvases. I also have a few other canvases tucked underneath there. I kind of don't want to pull them out and cause an avalanche. Uh, I have a roll of cover paper. These are my rolled up diamond paintings as well. Some of them are tucked behind the books. I then also have a cross stitch frame um, and some of the Ikea clip frames for hanging paintings are there as well. So that is definitely very much a dump shelf. That's probably more of a dump shelf than anything else. But this is now my... Um, diamond painting storage which works really well let me just get myself back up off the floor but yeah it works really well for what I need it for uh, the only time it's not wonderful uh, is when I de-kit a square painting I end up having to carry those three boxes and my heaven and earth design box and often the extra spares box uh, and it take all of those to my craft room to be able to do the de-kitting but to give me the space in what was my craft room uh, for packing orders and the shop it's worth it uh, so you do you do what you do don't you to make things work but I've been meaning to show you this space for a while it's not got too messy I have got, you know, space to move things about and potentially fit more in if I need to. But for now, it works. It, I say it keeps everything all together. And I do still have my rolling cart, which is where I keep, you know, the current trays and pens that I'm using, grip mats, trashies, tweezers, glue dots, all the sort of stuff that I use on a daily basis is stored in my mini craft cart and then I'll come and change out my trays every now and then, grab storage for new paintings etc. Uh, but yeah, this is my little stash base with some of my stash up above uh, and I will show you the what is now the shop room rather than the craft room uh, as soon as I can. I will try and get that video done as soon as possible. But yeah, this is just one of my little spaces. Any questions or comments, do pop them down below and I will answer them as soon as I can. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.